What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That means Mac Daddy Michael is outside. So let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. Well, liquid sunshine today. Yeah, for real. And, uh, <laughs> the last three days, two days. Yep. Well, uh, I did the flyer video, and I saw that it looks like the uh, pry bars is the buy of the century in there. Of course, the impact bundle is a good deal, but yeah, that's the mid torque half inch, I believe. And then the regular three eighths. Well, I know on the the video it didn't show, or the book didn't show what lengths pry bar. Is it like a eight, twelve, and twenty four or something? Uh, like that? that set is a. Find the right That's a page. good deal because somebody else commented on there the one that you get free is normally like a hundred and sixty bucks by itself. Mm -hmm. So it is. Uh, the four piece is a overall length is a, a thirty six, a twenty five, a seventeen, and an eight. And I want to say the one that comes free with it's a forty two. Yeah, that's a good deal. I believe. There. Probably don't have to get me one of them sets because. When you get them in, because that's a that's a good deal on them. Because that long one, you know, like it, like I say, by itself, 160 bucks or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. so, not too bad a deal. Uh, guy watched the video and texted me last night. He said, uh, "How much is that big one? I got four pieces. But I want the I want the long one too." So there you go. I kept money, man. And they make one that's all the way up to. They got like a 58 or something, don't they? I remember. 50, 58. Yeah, I mean, you're talking. <laughs> you just prop up on it. You it know. moves and stuff for that. But. I don't know if I got one of them back there or not right now. That's a, that was a big uh, one. No. I see you got some of the jacks in. Yeah. Got an orange one and two green ones left. That's a pretty, what was those, 429 for the? 429, 459, something like that. And it come with two jack stands and the mm -hmm. jack with it. And they are heavy. Yeah. That's a good deal. I like the handles on those, those pry bars too, the way they're made. That's a hoss daddy right there. It is. Um. I dug one of those specials out of the shop. It was a that big old pry bar with a big long dead blow hammer here. Thor's hammer here. Oh yeah. That right there makes you look like a little kid holding that. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A five and a half pound? Eighty amp, CH eighty. Yeah, that'll make you look like you're about six year old holding that. Yeah, Thor's hammer there. <laughs> right there. That's a pretty cool oil filter wrench. Mm -hmm. Spring loaded so it will pull itself back together. Yeah, you turn it one way and it opens it like this. Yep. Yeah. And then you tighten it up and it pulls her back together and it bites in there good. That's the only negative with that style. You know, the normal ones is you try to get it up in there and you start turning your ratchet and it don't start pulling in and mm -hmm. it's kind of a pain in the butt. That right there is a good. Yeah. I like that style. It's a good one. Yeah. Still got some of them screwdriver deals. I see. Still got several. Somebody would buy them as cheap as that deal is. 159 bucks for 20 pieces. Right? 20 pieces. Yep. Yeah. It's your screwdrivers and your torque screwdrivers as well. So that is cheap on one, that. two, three, four torque screwdrivers. But that was a good deal. Yeah. Sure uh, was. 
I know uh, I bought the truck last week. Of course, now I dropped the ball. I forgot to turn the receiver on the camera, so I had to release the day. I was of here. Life. I wasn't playing hooky last week. We day just in a life. And I bought that uh -oh. truck, and I took some pictures of it. And everybody's like, man, I want one of them trucks. Has he got any more of them? I was like, I don't know. That's the only um, one I seen on the truck is why I bought it. So. Well, I had one guy bought six of them. Holy cow. Um, but I can get some more of them. That's, Are you that's gonna no problem. Try to get the whole set of them? As they release them, we'll get them. Because those are really cool, mm -hmm. man. And every, like, I don't care how old you are. If if that right there ain't cool to you, there's something wrong with you. It really is. It's uh, a cool little truck. Another neat little thing that they have out, too, is, let's see if it's in this one. Let me find the right book. And this was something cool we showed last week. Of course, y'all didn't get to see it. Cause oh, yeah. didn't have no audio. Because <laughs> I just forgot. 3H locking extensions with a, with a screwdriver handle. Mm -hmm. You just put your ratchet on here, and therefore you can, instead of you, if your extension's oily, you can turn yeah, your ratchet and grip it. your extension. Yep. So, that's a, nice set right that's a neat little Was deal they got piece? there. Three piece. Three piece set. 18, uh, 10. It says six, but look, that's about an eight. So, yeah, it's a neat little deal. We're talking about the car deals. Something new that they got in the flyer is yes. for your kids. It's a oh, little play set. Well, it's the play set, but over here it's the car care for all your little Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. Every kid's got a bunch of little, little Hot Wheels. It holds uh, up to twelve of them. That's cool. That's the truck right there. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to order it, there's the part number. That's a cool little truck, though. It's got the mud on the tires. Uh, did you and... see the windshield? Like, I took mine out of the box and took pictures uh, I of it. I haven't noticed that part. And put it on my Instagram. And I try to get real close where you can see it. Like, it's got mud splattered on the windshield. And where the windshield wiper cleaned it off. Oh, heck. It's cool, man. They did a lot of little detail stuff on that. And, like, if you look, when you take it out of the box, across the back bumper, they got mud on the back bumper. It's on the tailpipes. I mean. They did good they with did that one. They did a good job on it. It was cool. I hope they'll continue to do a series, being that the way that they numbered it's like series one. I so. do, too. Hopefully, they'll have a forward, you know, and. They kind of cool because I love those little cars and mm -hmm. trucks and stuff. I guess you never grow out of being a kid. Uh, a year or two ago, they'd had a full blown die cast dragster of Doug Collette's dragster. Oh, heck. That was pretty neat. That'd be cool to have. I like that little stuff like that to change set around, and it's just cool, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, I was fortunate enough that Matco gave me a, a piston out of Antron Brown's. A drag car. Mm -hmm. I got it in there in that glass case, and he autographed it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So, and I actually looked the part number up on the piston. Of course, it's a new one. You know, it's not used, but it was like eight hundred and eighty bucks for that piston. So they spared no expense on those race cars. Like, oh, uh, uh. You know, if that was some redneck, they'd be like, "Man, grab one of them three fifties over there, and we'll put it in this car." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Run her till she blows. But man, there's no expense spared in and those race cars. So you know I'm in the market and I'm toolbox shopping and uh, that box there is kind of in the contentions of some of the stuff and uh, you said it was 68 inches wasn't it? 67 25 I believe. And it does have a power drawer. Yes. And for those of you... 6725. I haven't seen it. I see it's got the sparkly paint. So, I still ain't made my mind up which one I'm going at. I got another quote I got to get from one other place. and I think I'm going to look at, you know, I'm just going to look at every option on toolboxes because they don't cost me anything to get a quote. That's, that's right. You know, I'm, I'm even going to look at Montezuma and Extreme and... I'm going to look at Harbor Freight and I'm, the both ones that Harbor Freight have, the U.S. General and the Icon. The only negative that I see so far with the U.S. General, of course nobody can touch their prices, is 
I'm looking at buying seven different pieces to have the setup that I want. That's going to be seven different keys. You know, <laughs> you know how aggravating that's going to be? Because my first box I ever got, my first big box, was a Cobalt. Mm -hmm. And for some weird reason, I bought them as a set, but they wasn't keyed the same. The top box had one key and the bottom box had one key. And I used to cuss every day. Cause I'd, I'd always the, grab the wrong key. I'd stick it in the bottom box and open my drawer and get something out. And like 10 minutes later, I'm like, hey, I should have unlocked the top box. And I'd stick the same key in the top box and it wouldn't unlock. Or you'd grab it and jerk it and it'd be locked still. So, I don't know. But I mean, I think you could probably pay a locksmith to key them the same <laughs> a whole lot cheaper. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weigh out every single option before I make up my mind. Because at the end of the day... I ain't a rich guy. If I was rich, I wouldn't be working. Like, if y'all want to watch my YouTube videos, it'd be on the porch drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, you got something cool right there. A little set. Mm-hmm. Well, what new products you got this week? Anything new? I know one of the things we looked at last week that we didn't get to show. Let me find it again. For some of your body shop guys, is if you buy replace a bumper and you have, say you end up it either comes in and don't have the sensors for the holes aftermarket yeah. bumper or something there uh, the hole for the backup sensors or you, you know it don't have it but you forget to put the holes in it till it's already painted um, you can. Take this little kit here. It comes with a drill bit to, so you can pre drill your hole. Take this little deal here. Unscrew it. You put it on here. Let me get this set up right. Anyway, you put it all on and put your bearing on. And you take it and put it through that bumper. And that's for the plastic bumpers? For, for your plastic bumpers. And you can punch that hole through your plastic bumper. For the backup For sensors. your backup sensor. When it can be unpainted or already painted and they right. say it does not mess up the paint on them yeah that that would be my look like get it all slicked out and be like crap yep <laughs> and that had to happen that's why that kit's here so it uh i've sold several of them and people people really like them uh just for that simple fact of there's always that one time screw up, you know. And it don't take I forgot. one time either, and you're like, dad gum it. Yep, there it is. All together. But you just run it up, and it will punch a clean hole. Punch a clean hole in that plastic. And never mess up your paint job. Can't ask for nothing no better than that. Because a lot of your aftermarket bumpers won't come in with the holes already out. Yeah. Because depending on the model, you know, the, the level of, may have them, may not have them. Mm -hmm. So. I'm going to tell you what, a body guy, especially a good one. Man, I've seen some cars and I thought that thing right there will never be right. And when they rolled it out, man, that thing looked as good as... Actually, let me tell you a little backstory. We've got a guy here that's probably one of the best painters. I'd put his paint jobs up against anybody's. And I had a black Chevrolet truck one time, sitting in the red light, and a lady hit me, boom, in the back end. The only thing it did to my truck, it bent my chrome bumper and the little plastic trim piece that goes around my bumper and on top of it. Well, it folded it up against my tailgate, and it put about a 10-inch scratch on my tailgate, like deep enough that you could see the, the metal under it. I was like, man, I always heard that 
you could always tell when a vehicle was painted blah 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 so i took it to their body shop and they got a quote and of course that lady's insurance paid for it or whatever when he got through painting fixing the tailgate he put a new bumper on it a new plastic on it the paint that he sprayed looked better than the paint that was on it from the factory because the factory paint you could see sort of like an orange peel look mm -hmm. to it his was as slick as glass i'm talking about perfect paint job and i and i always was like man i never you know because i've never been around that much body work because mm -hmm. you know, i'm not you can tell by looking at my truck i don't care like the as long as it runs don't matter to me you know the paint job is way down the list when i'm looking at a vehicle and uh it's amazing some of the stuff they can do. Because I remember that day that I picked that up. He said, you remember that Tahoe? It was all twisted up and the fender was bent up and touching the windshield. And I was like, yeah. He said, that's it right there. They're buffing it. Look brand new. Like, them guys, they can do some really, really amazing stuff. Yep. Because I'd look at it and be like, oh, yeah, that thing, it's done. Like, they ain't nothing, <laughs> nothing you can do to fix it. Send it to the auction. <laughs> like, they, I remember seeing them in there. They had, like, this cutter. And they was cutting the panel off of a car it was a pontiac um uh one of the pontiac cars i can't remember but i remember they was cutting it from behind the the passenger door up over the fender well cutting a section of that out and i was like there ain't no way they can fix that where you can't tell it but they can do it man it's crazy you gotta have some patience too you working with that stuff man it's those guys are they're a special breed of oh, yeah. breed of people that can do that. Cause, like, I'd get mad and just throw my crap down in the floor and have to walk off. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just worked on this for 20 minutes, and it looks like you know, it looks like somebody beat it with a hammer again. But those guys are they're amazing, and dude, that's some tough work. Mm -hmm. Like all that water sanding and you know blocking them out and stuff like that. Like them guys, that's some rough work. You gotta be a patient person. I'm not a patient person. Yeah, I, I don't have I that just... much patience. I've got patience when it comes to like drilling out stuff and, and stuff like that, but I never could be a body guy. Yeah. Because everything they do affects something else down the line. So, but they're, uh, they'll do some cool stuff. Like, it would be neat to, like, film a day in the life of a body guy. That would be a cool video. Or maybe do a whole car, like mm -hmm. one that I'm talking about. Like a time lapse deal. And, and shoot a video of how they, all the little steps that they have to do to, to get it to where it looks perfect again. So, and I'll tell you another art that's really cool. Have you ever seen anybody do hand stripe, pinstripes? That, yes. The, the that, guy that's that a... sits up at the Tupelo Car Show every year. You know, he paints different stuff for mm -hmm. people. That dude's awesome. Like, it's awesome to see him lay down. A, and he can mirror it perfectly, like, you know. Well, he does to like one on side. He can just go yeah. and just lay it back down the other side. And like, I just, well, there's no way I can do that. <laughs> you know, those guys. And he'll dip that paintbrush one time and go down the whole length of that car. That's what's amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, how do, you, how, how do you even learn how to do that kind of stuff? Bad I thing have is so much messed up crap from practicing. <laughs> and nowadays it's hard finding somebody that can still do something like that. You like know? they was people bringing their big roll carts like that one up there and having him pinstripe the front. I mean, he was doing it for like 20 bucks. Oh, it wow. Was, it was hardly nothing. Like he would do like the, the pinstripe going across the front and he would do like the little fancy design in the middle on each side of the lock and the pinstripe across it. It took him literally 30, 40 seconds to do it. And 25 he was bucks. For 20, 20 and 25, 30 bucks, depending yeah. on what all you wanted him to do. It was really, really cheap. But he was hand pin striping cars for 100 bucks. Hmm. And it didn't take him long. Like 10 minutes, he was done with the whole entire car. Like, he, he's good. Wow. He's really good. Wow. Yep. But. Well, you got some plenty of stock, and I'm looking forward to when you get the uh, pry bar deals in. Let me know. I, okay. I want to get one of them. 
and I don't care what color it is. Like whatever is your not best seller, that's the <laughs> one I'll take because I don't care what color it is. Alrighty. Like if you order like, uh oh, I messed up and ordered four oranges. I should have ordered four green ones. I'll take an orange one or whatever. I don't okay. care what color it is. As long as it'll pry bar. That's it'll pry bar. I want the metal bar. part to be black. The other stuff don't matter. Okay. <laughs> so I'm happy. We can do that. We can do that. Which one of them beef jerkies was it you was talking about was so good? I'm going to get a bag of that today because I'm hungry. Which brand? The sweet and spicy barbecue's good, and then the regular barbecue's good. Um, the jalapeno's good. I have a lot of people that like the garlic, which I, I don't know about garlic jerky. I hadn't tried that, but. Southwest carne asada. They, they say that's really good, too. It's warm. Definitely I'm not big on spicy old. stuff myself, but. So where's the barbecue one at? Uh, behind you. Keep turning. Right there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try one of them. Cool. And didn't you say that was something, a cool story about the people that make this? Like it's like a small company. Or yeah, something it's a little there. small mom and pop company. They started out with like seasonings and uh, snack mixes and stuff like that. And their, their main focus was... Uh, butcher shops where they started with like their sauces and hot sauces and seasonings and things like that okay. so because they have their own yeah somebody made mention of the barbecue rub that was by the door one day and i said yeah, yeah he keeps it on there steak seasoning and buffalo and there's a bunch of different ones so it's hard to beat beef jerky and their beef jerky is not a real tough hard jerky either yeah that's kind of like, so. um, I got some that was real chewy type, mm -hmm. and I, I wasn't that big a fan of that. I like the softer better. But. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, if y'all haven't checked out the new flyer video, check it out, because there's some good deals in there. And uh, Michael still got some of these grinder packs, which is, that's probably the best deal that Mac offers out of all the I deals. I mean, that that's Mac a buy. Uh, Those grinder deals are how much is the set of them? One nineteen ninety nine, I believe. For a straight and for a straight angle. and an angle. That's cheap. You got plenty of them too. All right, guys, I gotta get back in here. We gotta get back to work. I'm gonna eat some beef jerky and then get back to work. Wow. I'm gonna be honest about it. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down there. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.